What is up, YouTube? It is I, Clutch Morals, and I'm back on the last episode. You guys have watched me start stripping out my 9802 Crown Vic. We got the doors stripped. We got the back seats out, passenger seat, carpet out. When I took the driver's seat out the next day, it was it was kind of rusty. Like the whole underneath of the seat was rusted. And I was like, well, that, that doesn't fit this car. Like the body looks great. The floorboard should be fine. So I ended up crawling underneath it. And sure enough, the boxes were completely gone. That's on me. I should have looked when I bought it. It was raining that day. The car was parked in a big mud hole. I got it for a great deal. I'm still going to make money scrapping it, but I should have checked. It still runs and drives, so we're going to pull the drivetrain. We're going to save that, use it for a gut and go next year. So I was out a Blizzard Bash car. I'm like, you know, what are we going to do now? Went out back, pulled out another 98 to 02. We were saving this one. We wanted to take it to Sturgis, Kentucky. This is a Sturgis, Kentucky county police car. So, sadly, it's going to get painted. I didn't want to paint it because I've always wanted to derby a cop car and leave it as a cop car. But uh, this going to Blizzard Bash, I'm putting a cool base on it. And then, you know, my man Sour, hopefully he can uh, ice this thing up. Here's the trunk of the cop car. Bunch of old upper and lower A-arms, W-body, CV axles, bumper shocks, tons of all-thread, gearboxes, shocks. Like this has been where I was just keeping all my stuff that I would eventually need or maybe need for a show. The trunk was sealed, so most of this stuff stayed pretty good. But uh, I ended up getting three doors stripped and uh, taken off. I got the dash taken out. Tomorrow, I'm going to work on getting that door stripped and taken off. I'll get all this out, work on getting the engine transmission out the fuel tank and uh, finding a new place to put all my junk you don't have to take your trunk lid and your doors and all that off but it helps like with the trunk i ended up having to break in because the key broke so once i popped it open I just went ahead and took it off so I don't accidentally close it and have to break into it again. Uh, I get all this cleaned out. I'll smash the back window. The side doors, you don't have to take them off. I took mine off for when I go to put the cage in. You know, I can just go from this car to this one. And having the doors open, it kind of cuts down on the amount of room you have. So... Not as far along as I wanted to be, but we are we are moving forward. So hopefully by the end of the week, it's Tuesday. Hopefully by the end of the week, we got the body off the frame. We got the engine pulled and, uh, you know, we're ready to start building it. For now, I'm just throwing all my trash in this one. Uh... You can see all the rust underneath the seat. Like I said, it still runs and drives. So I'm gonna save the engine, the transmission, maybe the rear end. Somebody said something about these. Maybe it was 03 and up cop cars have good rear ends and to save them. But uh, for now, I'm gonna use it as my pusher and once again, if you donate 2 to $3, you can help me buy a truck just like this. And we'll paint it lime green. This is my loaner. While my truck, uh, they're trying to figure out if the transmission uh, is completely dead or not. 
Blizzard Bash, it's what, mid-November. I'm signed up to run Dead Man 4 in a full size. That's last weekend in October. Don't even own that car yet. Hopefully I can find it this week. Go pick it up this weekend. So you guys enjoy cars crashing. You wanna see some derby builds get built from start to finish. You wanna help me buy a truck? Hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, share it on Facebook. Take your friend's phone, like, comment, subscribe on theirs, turn on notifications, and let's fucking go.